With him larger sack than the One Ring recovered, the Dark Lord Sauron has once again graced us with his presence. There is no hope left for those that dare to oppose us. The time has come to shroud Middle-earth in darkness. Sauron himself will lead the armies against the last three peoples of Middle-earth. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. Hello my friends and welcome back to episode 20 of our Mordor campaign in Third Age to the War, Divide and Conquer. We have, of course, Lord Sauron back among the, the mortal realms, so to speak. We are retraining him and his Olokai. Uh, I did do a little bit of troop movement before I started the episode because it's a little bit of a mess. I also changed my rally points so they don't all run towards Lothlorien anymore, but we can gather up at the Black Gate, which, you know, it's a better place to team up and it also makes thematically more sense. Now, of course, the question is, which faction shall we... How do you say that? Crush? Utterly destroy? Just completely vanquish first? And I think the logical answer is Dorwinian. I think Dorwinian is a nice small faction that we can take down in just a couple turns and it's a nice way to just kind of show off our new strength, kind of impress the other nations as well. And Dorwinian's also attacking us now, we're at war with them. They might try and take Nindorf, which would be very annoying indeed. Especially because I can't really get any units there. Uh, I guess I'll move him out already. Leo Frick, you might have to uh, assist Nindorf. Okay, I also did some name changes, and I want to thank the Gaming Swampert, Dara Hoppin, and Klikata. I hope I pronounced that right for some naming suggestions. I might not have used all of them just yet. Um, something I can think of is Minas Myron, uh, Burznags Dursh for Imladris, and then a couple I also came up with myself, Minas Gotha. Uh, I think that's it, really. Unless there's another settlement that I forgot about. So again, as always, keep your names coming. I quite like seeing all the evil names as we spread our influence across the land. Also, we need to get out those dwarves at some point. Hmm. I do have a strong army here. But most of my, my Nazgul are over here, of course. They're still in Mladris. Although, there's not really a reason for them to be here, seeing as evil has prevailed in the north. Only Bree stands over here, which... Eh, they won't stand for much longer. And, of course, the High Elves, but... They as well are just whittling away. Most of the good factions are here, which is the Winian, Dale, and Edible. Let's crush them. And I think after that we'll take care of Dol Guldur. But of course we do now, of course, serve the Dark Lord. It's a bit of the papal system, so we can, of course, get excommunicated if we fight too much with other evil factions, which is a very annoying mechanic. Um, but I very much want to get rid of Dol Guldur just so I can get all the nine Nazgul. I can get Kamul and the other two that I don't know the name of. But for now, I think I'll end the turn. I will keep talking, however. Um, but the plan is just to get a very strong army together under the banner of Sauron. And then just march them up towards Karasand. And any other armies that happen to be in the, the area can take some other lands of the Ruinian as well. But yeah, that should greatly increase our economy. It also kind of keeps Rune in check because they're not that strong of a faction. I should really turn off the Fog of War. I headed up because I wanted to take a look at Rune at the beginning of this video. And then I kind of forgot about it. So we'll do that at turn 112. Just take a look at what's going on in Dorwinian and in Rune. Because, um, of course, I don't want to cheat too much. Even though I have, I think, two Palantirs. And I also have um, Galadriel's Mirror. Which I'm not sure I can use. I don't think I can. Law-wise, but still, I mean... I can pretty much see everything that's going on in the world. I was actually kind of surprised that the Dunedain were dead. I never really paid much attention to them, but I really wanted to kill Aragorn myself. Oh, thank you, Sauron. <laughs> uh, if we take a look here, writing in those halls, yeah. I mean, why haven't they reconquered it yet? They really should. Just take it. I mean, I think if I let Ruin to their own devices, they would win eventually, but it would take them a little bit. Which, of course, we don't want. We want to take Dantalad, for sure, because then we can kind of sync up our territory, especially once we take down Dol Guldur. Um, but really, the grand prize is Karas Sant, not Karas Galathon. I almost said Karas Galathon, but Karas Galathon is long gone, my friends. Alright, let's turn off the Fog of War. Boom. Uh, and let's get our Dark Lord moving. Get out of there. Gornak, take command again. Oh, I do have to organize my armies a little bit. Oh, Sauron. Why are you part of the army that just moved out? 
so what we'll do is we'll have you wait first we need to ask for an invasion da, 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 da. Danta, where is Ka oh, I can't go for Karasant because it's not their capital and again Dantawad isn't a bad target either but yeah, it's right nearby <laughs> oh and they accepted the invasion let's see all right beautiful um Sauron you shall join the invasion now we get some extra movement speed Get those Temple Knights in there, and then that unit of Loki Nazrim, and this is a very scary army. Let's make sure these guys, yeah, they'll join the Crusade automatically, I think. Or maybe if I abandon and then join, yep, there we go. Alright, well let's march on Dantalad, and <laughs> take it down relatively quickly. There's nothing really that can stop us. Uh, I'll send Leofric in as well. Can we retrain these trolls? No, not yet. It's so nice to see Saren on the map. Training a bunch of new units. I also queued up some useful buildings, mostly in the Gondor mainland. That will give me uh, some upgrades, some more money as well. But we should keep building in most of our settlements, if not all our settlements, because we have cash to spare. Uh, let's see, Thorband. Might as well. Morigost, might as well. Just so we can keep spamming units like crazy. Lindorf. Oh, we don't have any mines there. Let's get them. Kalbaz Gorus. Uh, I don't even know where any of these places are with all the custom names. Gothand. Narchinoth. I quite like all the names though. Godjop Parar. Either we get economy or we get troop production centers. Or blacksmiths. Those are also pretty useful. Alright, that's that. Uh, what do I do with the Nazgul? They're kind of useless over here. I really should send these guys back. <clears throat> I also kind of want to go to war with the goblins. I just kind of want to take their land, you know. But, uh, we're allied with them, and who are they allied with? Well, Gundabad and Angmar. Or I could march Ganaltan just straight up towards the High Elves with Shivus. Let's give them both a ballista. Let's also sent the great beasts out. Yeah, let's get some armies together, why not, eh? See if we can march towards the Grey Havens. Any elves that are still trying to run away from us. We'll catch up to them. Um yeah, just wait. We have um Military axes with the goblins, but we don't have it with Angmar, so I should look into that. Where is my diplomat? But I much desire to speak with him. Uh, Fangorn, no, the other one. Gap of Rohan. Make your way north. We need to talk to the scum of Angmar. Alright, oh look, Saruman. We need to kill him at some point. And I also want to kill Gandalf, but, you know, seeing as the Dunedain are already dead, we can't kill him. Alright, trolls. I actually wanted to have you guys join Sauron. Two more trolls would mean four in total. We can get rid of them, some of the Black Oduks. Alright, let's end the turn. Yeah, we are now very much in the end game of the campaign. I actually don't expect the campaign to take too much longer, and I'm looking forward to the next campaign. I do quite enjoy Mordor, but like I've mentioned a couple times, all the Grand Empire stuff, and once you have like a really big amount of settlements it becomes really difficult. I'm not very good at it. I also don't think the videos are necessarily very interesting once that happens. Um, just because you spend so much time microing boring stuff and you get less and less battles, you know. When we were still in the beginning we were fighting Gondor every five seconds. Quite enjoyed that as well. I, I always enjoy the early game a lot more, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but it will be fun to cover the map in darkness, of course. We're not going to do world domination. I do get questions about that now and then. Uh, that's not my goal, and I don't think people would enjoy that. Some would, but I think most people would get very bored by it. Oh, Rebels, where did you come from? Alright, Civil Rolt and Thranduil's Halls. Finally, took you long enough. Alright, so Thranduil's Halls reclaimed. Yeah, good on you. Let's get rid of some of these regular Black Uruks. They can go to Leofric. And then those trolls can join the Crusade. Not invasion, I should say. Not crusade. Anyone else joining the invasion? Oh, everyone's everyone's getting in there. Nice. Very nice. I think, yeah, that should be all the evil factions except for Rune, Harad. But I'm not sure if they can join invasions. 
No, only these factions can, and everyone has joined. Nice. Um, I could plop you on an invasion as well, but not really send you towards Dantalad. All right. Well, sure. Let's let's just stretch out our hand. Why not? Is this still Goblin Land? No, this is Angmar Land. Angmar Land. Oh, I'm walking through Angmar Land anyway. Oh, there are allies. Do we not have military access? We do have military. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Just keep marching towards Great Havens. Oh, Bree. Forget that first. I wouldn't mind taking Bree. Just have like little hot spots of evil everywhere. Uh, you guys get in there. I'll retrain you all at some point. Influence is already uh, increasing quite rapidly. Same here. Did you say Sauron? Alright, you, Lagoran, go to Minas Maidon. Maidon, of course, being one of the uh, other monikers that Sauron used, just like Anatar and Gothar, and I think there might be others as well. The guy had plenty of names, man. I don't know why. Uh, you know what I'll do? Just like queue up stuff. Doesn't matter. As long as we keep building, it's all good. No, we don't really need militia. Just, yeah, just get the queues going. There we go. For now, for now. Let's end another turn! As we keep pushing towards Zantala. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to see Sauron on the battlefield. And on the one hand, I'm kinda like scared to use him because I don't want to lose him. But on the other, I just want to see Sauron go nuts on some Darwinian trash. Like, he's gonna be so incredibly strong. And he should have plenty of hit points. He's also not a cavalry general, because cavalry sometimes dies instantly. Depending on what you charge. Um, so he shouldn't suffer from sudden death, unless he gets hit by a ballista or something, or a catapult. But that would be highly unlucky. Um, but he should be relatively immortal. As makes sense, you know. It's Sauron with the One Ring. There ain't much stopping him. And with Isildur's kin all gone, seeing as Gondor's gone... And uh, the Dunedain are done. They're the Dunedain. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Alright, we're spending all of our money. Karasan's besieged. Okay, good. Mistran's besieged. That's not good. Oh, hello, Dolguldur. Really? <sighs> That's highly annoying. What I could do, I could be cheesy and like park myself next to him, then when he attacks, just let him die. But I want that settlement. I don't want you to have the settlement. Dol Gulder, your, your faction's over. If anything, I wish there was a script that would let me incorporate. Oh, Dale doesn't like it. Surprise, surprise. I wish there was a script that would let me incorporate um, Dol Gulder's units or uh, settlements with my own, because, you know, we're both Sauron. Right, Lundush, our first Orc General. Uh, Gazmog. Where can I send you? There's plenty of land here that needs a governor. Sagdur, you go there. At one point we'll have governors everywhere. Get your ass there, good job. Uh, oh, we got another one here. Uh, Dolungul, I imagine? Oh, Dolungul actually has a governor. What about Double? There we go. Oh, we even got a spy there. Let's actually send them south, just so we know what's going on there. Hmm, interesting. Um, right, so you go for this land over here. And we got Arthur, because I didn't even realize I had brought him along. So that means Minas Morgul doesn't have anybody. Ah, oh, we'll get someone. Ooh, nice. Two Sauron's rule, two Morgul chosen. Get the army together, lads. I'll just keep, like, getting armies here with the rally points, and we can just send them out whenever they're done. They can just inflict pain upon Middle Earth. Alright, so now we should be spending pretty much all our money every turn. Oh, I forgot to move my Nazgul. Ah. I'm a bit of an idiot. Can't deny that. But on the other hand, you know, we're 114 turns in and we have pretty much won the campaign. At one point, of course, and I, I kind of want to keep him as my final enemy, Isengard. That the other really big evil faction, besides Angmar, but Angmar's really not that scary. Isengard's pretty scary, so I kind of want to keep them as, like, the ultimate super enemy at the end. You know, the boss fight will be Saruman. That's the goal. 
Because otherwise, if we crush Isengard now, there's no one that can stop us at all. Right now, Isengard still poses a little bit of a threat, you know. You don't know what they can do. And they have quite big armies, they're quite strong. Saruman is quite sneaky and he's a powerful voice. He used to be the most powerful Maya on the land, but with the return of Sauron. Oh, what the hell is this? Alright. Seems like the other name have uh, decided to show up. Bloody asshats. It seems with the Dunedain gone and Gondor gone, they're like, well, we're the last hope of the Numenorians. Might as well seize our shot now. Perhaps they are kind of pissed off seeing that Sauron has returned. Oh, we got two units of Great Beasts. Well, we'll get an army there. Oh, Darth of the nice. Uh, we can immediately assault it because we have a Ballista. Oh, it's one of the Elven Generals, nice. Avari Naharim. Well, they'll be pretty useless inside the battle, or inside the settlement. This army is pretty trash though, so I think I'll wait until Lundush arrives because he'll bring in a much stronger force. Um, you guys, well... We can't hold the Tumno. I mean, we'll try. You can come over. Ooh, not another Royal Knights. How'd you get them? Jesus Christ. I actually think you could get them. I can just about attack him. That this seems to be like a really damaged army. Seeing as that banner is so low, but they have so many units. Can you scout for me, boat? 44, 51, 85. 17, that's still pretty scary. They got like a couple of really good units and a couple of really trash units. I think I can take them on with the stack from Burskia Vadal, but those guys will probably then have a bit of a rebellion's fit, a fit of rage, but I don't want to lose a Tumno. Uh, oh crap, well, we'll see what happens then. Uh, Burskia Vadal, yeah, you guys are pissed off. Alright, there we go. Keep the peace. And get some units, please, because we need them badly. Alright, well. Should probably uh, get rid of some of these queues then, because they're costing me tons and tons of money. And I need some armies, that's what I need. You, Cosmog. Give that man some troops. Can we now call, in theory, invasions? I can't check upon the other name. I guess we can. Uh, you just keep following your path. Do we have any other units that are done? Oh, we got some units here. I mean, they're pretty depleted, but they'll serve that purpose for now. I don't know what Castellar is kind of pissed off. I guess they need some garrison. Yeah, bloody, bloody other name. Um, they're at war with Harad, High Elves, and Mordor. That's us. <sighs> Not gonna lie. Pretty annoyed, and I think I should maybe send Lundush down south. If we take Umbar, that'd be a very nice price. Perhaps we can get a mercenary ship. We can just sail down. A couple of also pretty undefended, and this army, you know, with the Grey Beast and all that, should do relatively well. Leofric will be fine. If they decide to sell the out, we'll kill him. Or we could ignore Dantelan and just go straight for Durthalu. Oh, choices, choices, and I'm still online on Steam. Why? I always forget to do that lately. Alright, let's end the turn and see what happens. They might just attack with Tumnu straight up. Yeah, it seems that time has come where most common se I forgot to move to Nazgul again. I'm telling you, man, once I have to control too many things at the same time, and I know I can just give them, like, movement orders and they'll do it at the end of every turn, but uh, I just forget. I just forget. I need to pay attention to every corner of the map right now, and I... My attention span just doesn't work that way. It simply does not. Just put away my papers. I always get like a piece of paper ready with like notes for the beginning of the episode. But uh, that can go away. All right, so the Golder is attacking. We're not gonna join him in the hopes that they lose. And they didn't lose, okay. Crap. Bloody the Golder. I mean, it would be kind of nice to send Sauron to Umbar, to be honest. But it would take forever, literally. It would take so long. Then I have to get him back north. Uh, 
Okay, you're attacking me. I don't think I'll be in reinforcement range, which is terribly annoying. I mean, is there a point? I will have ballista towers, so I think what I'll do is do this one off camera. It's not going to be the most interesting to watch, but I think I can get a lot of kills with the ballista towers. So I'll see you all back with the results. Alright, so as expected, we lost the settlement. No big surprise there. Yeah. I mean, I killed about 10%. Now he's attacking my ships. But it really wasn't worth showing, and my ship's going down. Curses! Curses! It's not looking great for us. I mean, it is looking great in the grand scheme of things. It's just a bit of a setback. Is the other name Reed Are you kidding me? Yeah, their army was pretty depleted. I think we killed about 10 or 15 of the Narunaru Royal Guard with the Ballista Towers. So I think Palakna will be okay in taking them down. <sighs> Depends. We have a lot of archers and not that good infantry. He's Temple Wars though, so that's that's pretty good. Um, push Cavadal. Well, we do need barracks here because we want to get better and better units. We need reinforcements if we want to attack the other name. Just hope he's not sending in more troops. If I could call another invasion, but I think it's too quick, yeah. Alright, well, I kind of want to send Sauron to deal with the other name, but he'll take a very long time to get there. Like, we're looking upwards of 10 turns. Unless I can get him on a boat, but that's really risky. So I think we'll just keep pushing deeper into the Winnie land. Take him out. Is that my faction? Yeah. Leo Freak. Oh, okay. We'll just push deeper into the Winnie land and take them down. I really want to use Sauron, though. Let's make sure to not forget to move the Nazgul this time. Ganaltan and Shibus, if I'm not mistaken. Towards the Grey Havens. Oh, you're already out. Much further. Bree reached. Oh, hello, Bree. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Might as well take that prize along the way. They don't like me. Well, that's a big surprise. Another good faction we can eliminate. The last good faction in a region, pretty much. Although, I guess that's not part of a region anymore. Um, we do have some decent armies here. I think I should probably move south and take care of those dwarves if they're still like around. Where are they? I don't know where they are. Or I could also send these armies to deal with the Woodland Realm. Yes, let us do that. Uh, you, Lagarin. You look like a pretty nice guy. Get your halberds. Get your black orux, the ones that are fully trained at least. Get your maulers. Get some cavalry and some archers from here. Do you have any archers? You have one unit. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. You have archers. Uh, not quite. We've got one unit of orc archers. So I guess they're all right. Oh wait, you have a unit of black orc archers as well. I'd say this is pretty well balanced army. Like one unit of uh, Luke Camprim. There we go. That's a nice army. Hope I'll watch that down, because why not? We could muster another army as well. An army with a troll. With two trolls. Nice. And they can move towards the wooden drum, take them down. Just kind of moving on all flanks now. Oh, this is actually a very nice army. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of everything. Um, could throw in like one more south on warband, but that's not really necessary. The Witch King of Imladris has his personal goblin. Very nice. Alright, very nice. Look at all these buildings. It costs us a lot of money now, but it will pay back itself. We've got some more troops as well. Nice, 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 nice. Some Olokai. Which should already be moving out, yep. Uh, trolls. Lundush. Yeah, you will go deal with the Aradonaim. I'll put you on this part here. We'll see where we move you afterwards. Actually, Lundush could use a bit of support. How many units? Three. Ideal. Sauron's will, Trolls, and Olokai. Perfect. <sighs> Bloody hell, other name. They're really annoying for me to fight right now. Because I just don't have manpower in this area. 
Unless... I do have some units in Minas Morgoth. They can be sent south. It's better than nothing. I got some troops here as well. Give Humgrad some armies. It's good that I don't need to rely on my Nazgul anymore for everything. Because otherwise, you know, they're a bit spread out at the moment. Where are all my Nazgul anyway? I know most of them, but... Uh, Ganalt on the Weather Hills. Scorched Plains, right. Cape of Belfast, right. You're attacking the other name. Shivus from Breland. Yeah, Witch King's not doing anything right now, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I could teleport the Witch King because he has a fell beast. <laughs> but I'm going to keep him here for now. Culture is improving rapidly, so we can soon rebuild these guys. Reinforce these armies. Very nice. Alright, I think I'll end the turn. Unless... Do we attack Dorthalu? I'll get Siege equipment we can attack him next turn. Hmm, it's just a regular town, so they don't really have proper defenses. I don't mind starving them out a little bit more, though. Alright, either way, I'll see you all back on turn 117. Alright, so Robbie, I always love how the Breedlanders have like the most regular names. Robbie of Bree wants a ceasefire in exchange for 900 gold coins for 11 turns. That's like just short of 10k. That's peanuts, Robbie. That's you're, you're well off. Like, you can afford a whole lot more. Is that how much you value your literal life? Seriously, if I take Bree, you're done. Ah, the Ruinian's attacking me. Beautiful, beautiful. I always like defending more than attacking. Don't know why. Captain Bean, it's not King Bean, it's Captain Bean, and Avlin. Oh, he's got a lot of Avari, holy cow. That's actually a really elite army, Jesus Christ, they might give us some trouble. Well, well, let's do our best, eh? It's not going to be an easy fight, but we'll set up a strong defensive position. And I think this is our first battle against the Orwinian. Crap. I wanted to take a defensive position on the hill. The moment I spawn in the game, I notice that the AI reinforcements just spawn right next to me. <laughs> oh, bugger. Why does this always happen? Well, time to set up a defensive position, eh? I could use the edge of the map a little bit to my advantage, though. It's a little bit cheesy, but... Cheesy is my middle name, eh? Uh, Ballista, you just fire on those lads. Oh, gosh, it's... Well, I could place you on the hill here. You should be able to fire over our other units. Cavalry, get moving. Uruk Bodyguard, I think that's the first time we're seeing them in battle. Come on, boys. Get moving. Get moving. Don't be on skirmish mode. Ballista, fire away on those Thorn Riders. Oh, they look quite nice. Deal of an armor. I quite like the Winion. And I will include Darwinian in the poll for our next faction, but personally I would advise against voting for Darwinian. I know that sounds weird, uh, but they're getting a rather large rework in version 5 of Divide and Conquer, which will come out sometime next year. So I'd kind of want to save Darwinian for then, but if people really want it, I'm not going to be the one to deny them that bit of Darwinian. Yeah, I might as well do the fire ammo, why not? Um, yeah, they're getting uh, a lot more updates. They're kind of just expanding the elven-human symbiosis, so to speak. Which I quite like. I've never played the Winian, but I just kind of like their looks and the way they work as a faction with the elves and the humans. Kinda, it's kind of like Re with the mercenary merchant, Dunedain, bullshittery. But then with elves. Everything's better with elves, right? Hello there. You're coming in at a rather awkward angle. It's a very awkward map for me. Well, not the map, but the position we're in and the position the enemy's in. It's just kind of odd to maneuver like this. We'll be okay. So many of Ari. They're so scary. Not exactly the strongest of the elves, but still. Thorn patrollers. I think they use crossbows, yeah, they're one of two mounted crossbow units in the game. Um, there's one warg unit as well that has crossbows. Which is quite cool, I quite like mounted crossbows, even though I can't imagine it's easy to fire a crossbow on a mount. Then again, it might be easier to fire a crossbow than a bow. The firing, that is, not so much the uh, reloading. 
Gets in there. My god, what a mess. I mean, if they'd be so kind to just let their cavalry die, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Is that the general? I do believe it is. Kill him. These guys are only by captains, so the morale is probably not that great. At least the vineyard units, for example. The uh, Avari are probably quite... quite feisty. They don't probably ride that easily. Alright. How are we looking? We're looking alright. Oh, they got a blister of their own. Well, that's rather unfortunate. I'm gonna have to kill you now. I totally didn't see that. Oh crap, something is destroying... Oh, it's these guys. The spearmen also get javelins and they're absolutely destroying... That's a marksman. Well, they're not hitting the Nazgul, so it's okay. What a mess. What an absolute mess. Oh god, they actually got a lot of horses. They got a lot more horses than I thought at first. If only I had some trolls. <laughs> That'd be very awesome in this battle. Come on, the Navari scum, you wanna fight me? You filthy elves. Alright, take him head on. You should be fine. Servant of the Dark Lord. Alright, I think if we charge these guys in the rear, they will just completely cripple. Alright, lads. It's a very tough fight, actually. 70% for 23, so we are winning it, but we're losing a lot of men. Vari Shadows, the Orc Host, you know, decent melee unit. Thorn Guard, oh god, is that a pike unit? And the Dorwinian had a pike unit? I guess every faction has one pike unit. Charge the Avari Warriors! I wish I had more cavalry! We can get another Terror of the Nazgul soon, that'd be awesome. Nice, that was a good charge. I mean, felt like a good charge. We're killing the general, which is also good. Uh, this flank's looking rather, rather weak. This flank, on the other hand, is looking pretty healthy, especially now that we're circling around them. They also only have a captain, so the morale is not the best. Oh, we lost the unit. Come on, boys! Don't stop believing! Hold on to that feeling! Is the Nazgul safe? I don't really see him. Which is not good. Nice. 87. Kill that general. 7. 83. Oh, that wasn't a very good charge. Bloody spears. Just don't want to die. How are we looking? I mean, these guys are getting surrounded, so I feel like they should start running at some point. The feet seem certain. They don't exactly look like the most elite unit. They kind of look like low-tier militia. But looks can be deceiving, of course. Just because the unit kind of looks poopy doesn't mean they are. Three of them left. I really think it's the general. No, it's not the general. Crap, who's the general then? It's this unit, apparently. That's probably the captain of the other army, then. I'm very confused. The general should be over here. I really... I'm very confused. Oh, it's this unit of Avari Naharim. That's a completely different unit of Navari, Avari Naharim. Oh, that's confusing. Bloody hell. Izzy, why are you like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> why do you keep messing up? Alright, these units are getting destroyed though. So that's pretty good. So these guys won't run because they're led by the general. It's this army that we want to route, but they are the elites, the Avari. You see the pickle we're in? It's quite a nasty pickle. Alright, Uruk Bodyguard is actually quite a good unit. 818 as compared to regular Black Uruk. Two more defense. Hmm. Alright. It's just kind of... Hang in there, relatively healthy. I thought they'd be weaker than that. At this point, we'll lose our Nazgul, though. If we keep it up like this. Is the... Come on, boys. Is it? 
44, 56. I wouldn't say very much. It's in our favor, but it's rather close. It doesn't matter a whole lot because Sauron is pretty close by. But still, rather not lose it. As we are losing our last of the Harad Riders. Oh, bugger. The Southron Lancer has fallen. So, Winion Infantry. Not even fighting, just kind of standing there. I quite like their looks though, they kind of remind me of like Greek Roman units. Very nice. Something classy about them. Come on, they're completely surrounded. Why do they not care? They're supposed to die. Please. I'm begging you. Ah, 50-64. There's really not that much I can do now. I really need more cavalry so I can keep microing. Otherwise I'll get bored. We don't want that. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Kill those fuckers. If I can do another turret, I gladly do so. Yeah, those Avari are really tough. What are the stats? 26 defense. Holy cow. Yeah, that explains it. And 12 mil attack. Nine. Oh my god. These guys are really good. They might just be like one of the best javelin units in the game. Because they're not a dedicated javelin unit, that's exactly why they're so good. <laughs> yeah, they're just destroying me. It's not so much the Thorn units, it's the Avari. Bloody hell. I don't actually think we'd fight any uh, Avari anytime soon. It's not quite pricey. Thorn God, that's another pike unit, isn't it? Yeah. Don't die. The Nazgul might die, I'm very much prepared to see it pop up anytime soon, and then probably the rest of the army will just rout. Although we have a backup general. Come on, you're not on guard mode. Ah, oh, I should have put you off guard mode. I want to bet I already got like 20 angry comments saying, You're supposed to put him off guard mode! Come on, come on. One more turret. One more turret. Oh my god, this is such a close battle. It is so close. Alright, he's sending in his general though. These guys are slowly but surely dropping. These guys on the other hand... Don't really want to die. <laughs> the spears are finally dropping. Alright, Terror of the Nazgul. Yes, Kazi in fighting. Yes, very good. Random guards getting absolutely toasted. I should try to pull back my archers actually. They'll be more useful alive. Please tell me the Nazgul's are getting out. No, he keeps fighting. Come on, don't be a hero. Do not be a hero. Good, he's running. Good, good, good. Whoo! I mean, we're not, we're not saved just yet. We are being chased. Run! Protect your general! Yes, he will soon be able to return fire. Oh, the Avari Shadows are really fast. Holy cow. 115%. That's really fast. That is very fast. The Thorn Riders shouldn't be that strong a unit. These guys, though. Oh my god. They're scary. They look quite nice with their armor upgrades as well. Yeah, he's actually doing cap charges. Look at that. 75, 78. Oh, it's so close. I can't watch. I can't watch. Alright, Temple Marks. From... No, don't see that. We're going to win this one. Old Heart. I wish I had cavalry. I wish the Avari Spearmen would bloody die. But it seems they just do not want to. Kill the general. We might get a route going. There he is. Oh, he looks pretty fancy. Captain Bean, okay. I don't think that will matter too much. Oh, actually. These guys are riding, the Thorn Patrollers. Not exactly the most elite unit, though. Crap. Thorn Riders. Oh, thank god they're idiots. If they just rammed in here, they would have killed a ton of troops. Up against the marksman, uh, I think we should be good. Especially with the Manan guard chasing in from the rear. 
Ah, oh, right, these guys are still holding on. The blister's still standing there. Wish we could have gotten some more value out of that one, eh? Man, this battle is so bloody close. I'm biting my nails here. Yes, good. Yes, good, we've killed the general. Does that mean we stand a chance? Eh. I don't think they're too keen on running anytime soon. I need to use our, our very few units that we have very wisely. There are no second chances. Oh, we're doing the double sandwich, eh? Doing the good old double sandwich? That's alright. I can actually participate in that. Bloody patrollers. Well, at least the witch, uh, not the witch king, the Nazgul still has a fair bit of ammo. Let's see if we can do a double sandwich. I love sandwiches. This game sometimes gets me really hungry. Come on, lads. We can actually have some mixed meat on the menu today. Elf and man flesh. You can pick what you like. Nice, good charge. But those guys just do not die. That's the problem. The Avari are just so tanky. They're in like dwarven terrain of tankiness. Do I actually have an archer? I have one archer. All the others are just retinue. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Sandwich him. Good charge. Alright, Lone Archer. Thing is, your armor piercing, so every shot is basically a kill. But you refuse to fire. There we go. Plink. Why would you hit? Did you hit our own unit? I think you did. Oh, you're an idiot. Goodness gracious, this battle is so close. 9 to 1 for 89. But it's just their last 11% are just the top tier strongest units. Gavari warriors, my god, they just don't die. I think I'm better off sending these guys in and melee from the other side. Wait, what? Oh, this guy. Whew! I was like, how did the Nazgul die? It's the other, uh... Orc general, he will not be missed. I hardly knew the... Yeah, the Avari just don't die. I don't want to run. We don't run. Mordor never runs. I know I should run. But we don't run. We don't do that here. My god, we completely surround them and they just don't die. The units are just that much stronger than our units. Now we do a spore charge like that. Oh, bugger. Alright. Get out, Nazgul. Get out! Maybe we do run. Get out of there! I don't want to wait 15 turns to get you back. Ah, oh, this is a disgrace! A disgrace! Sauron will have to punish you. And you, Dominion scum. That's over. <sighs> Blimey. It seems the forces of Dominion should not be underestimated. And they just got like 40% of their units back. It's awful. Oh, bugger. Alright, I'll see you back on the campaign map. We don't talk about this. This never happened. Bloody hell. I'm just wreathing with anger right now. We will we will exert our revenge. You better be damn sure of it. I think we would have actually stood a better chance if I just assaulted the damn settlement in the first place. We would have probably easily won it, because the scariest army was not the one in the settlement. The led by the general, it was actually the captain's squad with all the Ovari. Goodness gracious. Those Ovari. They don't take prisoners. Alright, what is this? Uh... Wait, what? Why are we attacking Dunland? We're not at war with Dunland, are we? So Angmar and Dunland are at war now. Interesting. That's good. Let them murder each other. Although I don't want Angmar to get too strong either. We kind of want to keep everyone strong, but not stronger than us. That's kind of our plan. Oh, bloody out of the name. Bloody out of the name. At least they're not selling out of Atomno. We can just siege them out. Good, good, good. Nazgul returns to Dol Guldur. No, no, no. They should return to Mordor. Oh, why do you take so long? Right, get home. 
Give this man a new army. You move towards the land south. Um, once we take a Tumno, Balakna Sunfire can get this army and attack Umbar. Okay, so Harad's going for a couple Merlons. I really want Umbar. I just want to have like capitals all over the place, like little little settlements that we can use to exert our influence from. All right, Lagaran, Lagaran of the Neck. I think that was a, an old name of one of the Nazgul, Lagaran. Because they changed a bunch of the Nazgul names because they gave him a lot of lore in the Divine Conquer. I think Lagaran used to be an old Nazgul name. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of uh, a lot of dudes. Once Ganaltan is in place, we will attack Bree. But I would prefer to have two armies. We're not what we've done, are we? We have a lot of enemies. I don't know, Bree, what's because of Doom, but not Dunland. What the hell's going on? We never really cared much about Dunland. So they're at war with Angmar. Does that mean the alliance between Isengard and Angmar is broken as well? Yeah, they're not allies. They're not at war either. They used to be allies, I think. Alright, Shibus, you keep besieging. Then I'll tell once you're there, we'll attack Bri. One more turn. Alright, I'll see you all back on turn 118. Alright, lads. The armies are in position. It's time to end Bri. I think even Angmar might join us. Oh, yes. Hold out of Angmar and Harward, but he's not really bringing many troops. Oh, that would be as in two generals. Which should be the Barrow... no, Witch Knights. Right. Let's say Barrow Knights, but that's not a thing. Witch Knights. And Harward's bringing a decent mid-tier Angmar army. We're bringing... Uh, we got some really good units and some really trash units in there. The Hillman can kind of serve a purpose of just tanking shots. Council Master Ed, Reginard. Matty the Fearless. Elf, which should be a hobbit. He looks like a hobbit. Yes, he's a hobbit. Nice. Um, Bertie and Gandalf. Oh my god, Gandalf's here. Alright lads, remember how I said that one of the victory conditions was to kill Gandalf? I wasn't talking about the wizard. We never cared about the wizard. It was all about Gandalf of Bree, the Northman merchant, the one we wanted to kill all along. The one who has spoiled our plots for too many years. And his unit of Breeland bodyguard. Oh yes. Nice. That guy just saved my campaign, because otherwise I would never meet my victory condition, seeing as Gandalf's already gone. But now I'm killing Gandalf, so it's all good. Beautiful. Alright. <laughs> uh, I will lead the attack with Shivu, seeing as he has the better army. And uh, Ganaltan, I'll let the AI control him, although I might regret that soon, but we'll see. He should have... I think he has a ballista as well. Yeah, he has a ballista. Alright, I'll see you all on the battlefield for the Battle of Bree. Right lads, here we go. Oh, we're actually attacking the rear. Bloody hell. My god, I think it's gonna get laggy. <laughs> uh, do we have to destroy the towers? I don't think so, because they're pulling back. We can use the hillman to knock down the gate. I don't particularly care much about the hillman. Uh, but we do need to get some armies in the rear then. So they're gonna attack us there. We'll send over the great beasts. They will lead the charge. I mean, I, I don't think I've been able to uh, squeeze them in the settlement. So they're better suited over here. Now, I did get some tips in the previous video on how to use Great Beasts properly, and apparently the Javelins are seriously very strong. So it's best to just kind of park him close to an enemy unit, tell them to fire at will, and once they run out of ammo, then to charge him in. So will they just start firing on their own now? Yep. Oh, well, they're killing these guys in one hit. The Woolen Hunters. Oh, we got some Hobbits. Oh, poor Hobbits. This is basically the scouring of the Shire, except it's not the Shire, it's Breland. We're killing plenty of hobbits too, which is good, because I wanted to kill hobbits. I love slaughtering hobbits. The little helpless, defenseless... Oh crap. Don't fire on them. If they're gonna shoot at us, we're gonna trample them. Nice. Oh, then we got some dwarves! My god, they really just brought everyone together here for me to slaughter. Very nice of them. Now the it's reaching to the town square. Defend the prancing pony! Alright, so this battle is going pretty much as expected. <laughs> Bree is just. Oh, they're routing. Even the Dunedain are routing. Well, that's good that we can even kill some Dunedain as well. Nice. Oh, Gandalf, your forces are falling apart. 
Yes, yes, yes. The Archer Militia cannot stand against Greed Beast. I don't think they ever imagined they'd be fighting these kind of guys. Alright, stop fighting now. Save some of your ammo for inside the settlement. The gate is open. Merchant infantry. Hmm. Alright, lads. Let's send the hillmen in already. The rest will follow soon. The reinforcements are not really doing anything. They're an aggressive, right? I think they've just arrived. They're on the wrong side of the mountains. Oh, I quite like the settlement. It's a town that I like, like to live in, you know? It's peaceful, not too big, not too small. It's just like... Very nice. Nice, we killed Captain Ozzy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ozzy. I'm sorry to all my Aussie viewers, if I have any. I'm not sure, actually. I could look it up. YouTube has, like, statistics for, like, the countries you're most popular in, which in my case I think is the United States, which would make sense, you know. English-speaking videos, largest English-speaking country. Kind of makes sense. I think United States, United Kingdom, they're very well represented. I think, like, Spain, too? Poland, as well? Belgium, not so much. Then again, there's not even that many people in Belgium. Oh, the lone watch sheriff. Not even a hobbit. Time of the retinue, guys. Alright, Ballista, get in there. Great beasts, everyone gets in there. Speed things up, I still want to see Sauron in this battle. We're already, I think, over time. But I still want to see, I still want to have that fight with Sauron. We can't have Sauron and not use him, like, as quickly as possible afterwards, you know. As the battle is getting increasingly laggy because there's about a bajillion units on the battlefield. Nice. Alright. Uh, well, fire away if you can. You can't. Oh, well, push closer then. Push closer. Cavalry, if you can take this side here. You can kind of do a flank around. Although, I would actually have to move a fair bit around. Oh, well, they're cavalry. They're pretty quick. They're pretty fast. Oh, look at them. Desperately holding on to the... Oh, these guys are scary. The gatekeepers, I think they're called? Very scary unit. Come on, boys. Push that ballista. Because we're about to unload on them. Poor fools. I think the Great Beast is just trampling everyone. <laughs> Imagine if it did damage. Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if that's specific to Divide and Conquer, that, like, the elephant units do not damage your own troops. Trolls as well. Because I, th I, I kind of thought that in Medieval 2 and Rome, if you trample your own units, they actually die. But I might be wrong on that. Someone might correct me. It's been a while since I played vanilla. I kind of want to do a vanilla campaign at some point. But... Oh, well, if only I had more time in life. There's a lot of things I would like to do. Why can't the ballista fire yet? I thought they'd be in range. Yeah, they're in range to shoot that one guy. Can they do it? Come on, goblin scum. Show me your worth. It's just gonna be a grind of a fight, though. Alright, start pushing forward. There's no real strategy involved except just grind them down, eh? Alright, you guys are getting in position. Good, good, good. Keep moving. Ballista is in range. Do the fire shot. Oh, game's lagging. There's too many people. There's too much going on. Archer militia's being sent in. Nice. Oh my god, it's so laggy. Like, I go from 70 frames to 30, 28, 19. Let's just slow things down a bit. If you want to go faster, you need to go slower. It's wisdom by Izzy right there. Because I'll probably tow some of my own units. Nah, it's just Hillman. I don't particularly care about the Hillman. Let's do one shot just to test it, but I think we're just going to toast our own units and kill no enemies. How do you, like, move on the road? Come on, we're not hobbits. Don't get off the road. Sauron's always going to slaughter them, like, absolutely destroy them. Oh, they're running through the fields, even. Those gatekeepers kind of scare me. 
Oh, hello, witch knights. I mean, you can't deny they look pretty fucking sexy. Alright, boys. Let's just select all the infantry and tell them to push for the town square. That's gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, cavalry. Great beasts. Get in there! Get in there! Once the Nazgul is close enough, we can do another terror. Another shriek of fear! Bloody gatekeepers. Those crossbows can do a lot of damage, but they're not actually firing, it seems. Although, I think those, those bill hooks can also do a ton of damage. We'll see. If we lose the Great Beast, it's not that bad. We can actually get the relatively stable supply of them now. Pun not intended. I think I saw the bodyguard somewhere around. There he is. Which one of the five generals is that? Oh no. Oh, they're dying in... Oh, crap. There's another unit of gatekeepers. Blimey. Where did they come from? Goodness gracious. This is the grind of a battle. The map doesn't really lend itself to tactical maneuvering and all that jazz. Bloody gatekeepers. Special ability, kill a rampaging creature. Oh no no, let them rampage. Let them rampage. So they're just running amok, which means I can't control them. I don't think they'll ever chill, but they'll just go nuts and kill whatever they encounter, which at the moment is just enemies. I can just give the command to kill them, but you don't want to do that. Rip Alf. I think that was the Hobbit, wasn't it? I think it was. So let's let's just let them rampage. It's fine. Unless they get too close to our units. They're actually killing anything. Oh yes, they are. No, they're coming a bit too close to my units. So get rid of them. And there they go. <laughs> just had a heart attack and they're like, oh, we're done. Rip. Except this guy. I guess he wasn't running a mock. Alright, you're still good then? Then run in there. I'm sorry for my squeaky chat. And my cavalry's getting slaughtered. It's not a great position for them. Oh, ballista. Oh, ballista. You're just destroying houses. Oh, they actually get like a, a demolished texture model thingy, which is kind of buggy. Nice. I love buggy models. Alright, the Great Beasts are done. I mean, I did kind of suicide them. That's okay. Come on, lads, push! Otherwise this battle's gonna take forever. And there's knife work to be done. Come on, boys! You are Orcs of Mordor! You're not Misty Mountains trash. You're not Angmarim trash. You're proper warriors. That's what you are. Oh. Hello, Merchant Cavalry. My very glance is to be able to take him down. Because the militia is actually really good against cavalry. Surprise. Oh my god, they actually killed quite a few. Nice. Good job, a mock uh, great beast. I almost straight up called them elephants, which they're absolutely not. I don't know what they're supposed to be. They kind of look like rhinos in a way. I guess they're inspired by like rhino elephant sort of blend. It's not gonna lie, it would be pretty awesome if that existed in real life. But as far as I know, rhinos are like incredibly stupid animals. I mean, dumb. As in, their brain power is very limited and they get spooked really easily. Which, yeah, that's a great combination when you have like a massive tusk on your forehead. You also get spooked easily. <laughs> it's a recipe for disaster right there. Maybe if we charge the bodyguard, we can actually get a lucky kill on that general. Okay, never mind. Never mind! Here are the Merchant Cavalry. How are we doing? 4% 57. Well then. Well then, indeed. But keep pushing. I want you to keep pushing. I know it's a narrow corridor. And the ballista is sniping very nicely, actually. Oh my god, two very beautiful shots. Let's meet, we no longer have to cook. Ah, it's the troops of Angmar. The banners of Angmar and Mordor are finally fighting together, side by side. 
As Agandar has swore his allegiance yet anew. Agandar has done pretty well for us. He has caused much disruption in the north. Same as the dwarves of Erluin. Alright, how is it looking? Well, Gandalf's still alive, so we do need to be careful. Lest he conjure up some magic. Spook the enemy a bit. Just destroying their houses. I hope we don't hit the Prancing Pony. Keep it alive. Do not destroy the Prancing Pony, I swear to God. What are you guys over there? What? Wait. How? I'm not complaining, though. It's actually a pretty good position. Merchant infantry. Ooh, they look quite nice. The Gothic Knights. Very cool. Come on, boys. Keep pushing. The hills will be yours indeed. Doot doot that horn! Not that I expect anyone to start running. Cancel Master Edge! Alright, the faction leader's down. Ooh, and that has uh, caused a bit of a morale debuff for them. Yes! Gandalf! I just assume this is Gandalf. He looks like a Gandalf. This might be Gandalf, though. Oh, so many Gandalfs. Gandalf, I'm coming for you! Isn't the Anduid Vale already dead as well? I don't think they're still alive as a faction. So that means Radagast is also out. Unless I find a random general called Radagast. <laughs> it's possible. All the names are part of just a big list that they draw the names from, so... Come on, boys. Keep encircling, keep killing. Step it up. This is what you're being paid to do. Did I just suicide my cavalry? Mm, doesn't look like my cavalry. I think my AI friend just thought of his cavalry. Oh, hello there. Oh, crap. Open that gate. Come on. Cavalry. Get over there. You can open the gate and then they come inside. That will save us some time. Come on, boys. Stop. Ganalton, stop. Oh, he's using a blister to knock it down. You don't have to do it. I control the gate. I'm on the inside. I'm the Trojan horse you very much want. Come on, how do we not have the gate now? How do we not have the gate? Okay, there we go. Come in, come in. Let me welcome you. Uh, they're just sending in their last forces. How much have they got left? 27%. Well, I can tell you that that is not enough. Watchman Bogard. Come on, Hillman. What we got over here? Oh, Gandalf. Are they actually coming back now? Now that we control the gate? No, they very much want to just move all the way around. Alright then. You do you. Doofus. Alright. Oh no, don't do six times speed. It just gets so laggy. Two times speed seems to work. Kill them! Slay them all! Leave none alive! The time of Bree is over! Ah, yes. Nice. Very good. I'll probably lure, yes, those guys closer. Which means these hillmen are gonna get slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. They're not actually good at fighting. It's not really what they do. Merchant infantry. Oh, bugger. Oh, Yangwar infantry arriving right on time. Attack these guys, please. No! No! After thine scum! Bloody hell. Regenart has fallen. You see, Gandalf is the strongest of the generals. Oh, nice. Ruda Savage is coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. That's host. They are absolute toast. I'm not even sure how they hold the town square. We very much control it. Gandalf? No, Matty the Fearless. Gandalf is just the last one to die. Bloody hell. It's Gandalf the Green. Look at these guys just having a good old time clobbering up everyone. The last banner of Bree. Oh, no, wait, there's a couple more here. Ignore that. 
It's not a cinematic. It is, however, pretty cinematic to see these guys getting pushed out of their own town square by the forces of black and red. Angmar and Mordor stand together. Very nice. Mount Graham and Mount Doom. A worthy alliance. Alright, very nice. Because, like, I feel like Torgolder and Angmar would just always be loyal to Mordor. Gundabad, not so much. They're kind of doing their own thing. But Torgolder is basically just an extension of Mordor and Angmar in a way as well with Agandar. Bertie? Where's Gandalf? What I much desire to kill him. Bloody hell. Where is he? Is he hiding somewhere? Is he hiding in the, the prancing pony? In one of the beds? He's not over here, that's for sure. No, he must be in here. Be on bodyguard, that's probably... Oh, oh, oh! Gandalf! Yes! Gandalf has fallen! That's very good. Very good. He shall reincarnate no more. It's an unexpected twist. But a very good one. Another victory condition we can check off the list. Alright, well that's pretty much redone. I will have another bit, uh, another, oh god I can't speak, I will have another slightly longer episode, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. So Shibus, yeah we did most of the, with the work, everyone else was kind of there, got out on that nothing. Let's see who did the most damage, probably the Great Beasts, 267, did they heal? Yeah they healed 10 so I got 2 or 3 back, very nice. Alright, let's execute the last of the Relanders, I think. I didn't see their faction, uh, but perhaps that wasn't one. <laughs> All the generals falling. Oh, there goes the little hobbit. I assume that's Gandalf. I was just reading through my comments on the previous video, as I like to do during loading screens, and I just got a great name recommendation by Pavel. And it was a suggestion for Imlages, but I think it can also apply to Bree. Um, and the suggestion was Gropor of Asht Akhisht, which means Valley of Bones and Ash. Because nothing else remains once we are done. Uh, let's actually occupy it. I might actually regret that. Faction destroyed, yes. The Shire reached. <laughs> well, are they going to be happy to see us? Okay, now we can actually keep it rather peaceful. Uh, Ganaltan, I will just kind of keep you around for now. Uh, but I, It's not really a valley, it's more of a hill, but just use your imagination. Gropor, it might be too long though. Op, Asht, Ak, Hish. I love how I can't use S, but I can use T. Is it because T is a smaller letter than S? That's very funny. Alright, then we'll just do Valley of Bones. Gropor. Um, op Hisht, I think that is then. The Valley of Bones. Very nice. Oh, we got Gropor. That's a bit silly. That is a bit silly indeed. Oh, bugger. Gropor, op Hisht. It's really not that difficult, is he? Alright, let's build the Temple of Melkor there, get the influence up. I'll just kind of chill for now, we will move on to Greyhaven soon. It's another piece of land we control, not a capital. We just have like plots of lands everywhere, little enclaves. Oh, Durthalu, I very much want to kill you. Alright, I'll see you back on turn 119 and then we can quickly take care of Durthalu, because I just want to see Sauron on the field killing some Dorian fools. Bree has fallen, hobbits and men alike fled from Staddle. Comb was in flames, death in the air, flames spread throughout the Bree Hill, as homes were burned and its people were slain. Rangers were slain as they tried to protect fleeing villages. Failure is the only word to describe the day that Bree was sacked and taken from its people, for rangers and soldiers of Bree alike have failed the people they were entrusted to defend. The Bree land is lost and the rest of Eriador may very well follow. Well, I think the rest of Eriador has already long followed. Oh, Nazgul returned, I wonder who that is. Oh, Zagar, I completely forgot I lost you. Oh, right, he died in the Siege of Imlargis. Right, 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 right. I remember now. Let's give that man an army. Leofric as well. Ah, oh, man, I'm spending so much money just on all the buildings I queued up. There's also another attack by the other name, but it doesn't seem they brought anyone along. So as long as they just kind of bother me, but don't actually attack me, we can just take our lands back. We'll be good, because we have troops coming over. Do I have military access with the rod? I probably do, yes. So we can just walk through the lands without a care in the world. Oh yes, Umba will be mine. Uh, Cigar, if you can actually move here, you can lead those armies. You can be the, the field marshal 
over those three generals. All oh, right, but first things first, I want to send in Sauron. I want to take down Dorthalu. Captain Velama. All right, we killed that general. So he brought in the Avari from that previous battle, which will be rather annoying to deal with, but we have Sauron. This will be the first Sauron battle. I wanted to say the first battle featuring Sauron, but then I misspoke and I almost said the first Sauron featuring battle. Which is also technically correct. Anyway, I digress. I'll see you all on the battlefield. Alright, my friends, the gates are open. It's time to march forward. Look at him. Look at him in all his glory. Sauron, the heavy infantry. Let's send Sauron first. I mean, he's basically immortal. We do have also a bunch of trolls, a lot of halberds and pikemen. They're just all around very good army. I mean, not exactly a top tier army. We could use some more temple units for that, but all in all, it's a pretty healthy force. So the defenders at one point, they started at the walls. Uh, they kept firing on my ballista crew. We took down the gate, but then they fled to the town square. And they now seem to be moving forward again, which is rather annoying. Because I don't want to have like constantly the towers firing on us. So I'm just going to run in the trolls, hopefully to keep them away from the towers, but that failed. Alright, well, let's send in everyone then. Keep them away from the towers as well as possible. Wrath of Sauron, I'm very curious to see what that would do. Yes, need to make sure the Avari Spearmen can't get their javelins off. Alright, let's do the Wrath of Sauron. Ooh, they're all shaken. Go nuts, trolls. Go nuts. I think they're all like randomly getting stunned. Yeah, they are getting stunned. Nice. This is just a slaughter. Oh my god. Well then. This is quite nice. Even the Avari that gave us such a hard time last uh, battle. They cannot stand against us. What can you do against such reckless heat? Well, I have the answer for you. Absolutely nothing. Just wait until Sauron's like golden tier as well. He gets even more attack bonus. That's unit of 110 is fighting to the death. And just dropping like flies. Send in the pikes. Send in the pikes. They will be rather useful. Send in Lord Sauron himself. It actually has like three different icons, one to activate it, one when it's active, and one when it's on cooldown. That's quite nice. I think it's the only ability that has that. Oh crap, Avari Warriors. They are scary. But they will die all the same. We've killed plenty of your kin. Avari, Kalakwendi, I don't care. I don't care whether you've seen the lights or not. You should all die just the same. And there we go, Sauron's already leveled up once. Nice. Now watch him die, like, straight away. I mean, it would be nice if Sauron was just, like, one single entity. But sadly, that's not possible due to engine limitations. I know in the old Total War, it was, like, three very big Saurons, kind of like troll size. That worked. It also had the ability of, like, knocking down other units, which was quite a nice touch. Because Sauron, I mean, if he, like, charged at you full speed, you get knocked over. Remember the opening scene of the Lord of the Rings? Where he just flies... Numenorians and elves just every direction with his mace. I'd also like to think that the mace of Sauron, the new mace of Sauron, is forged from parts of Narsil that we, of course, reclaimed from conquering Imlargis. Like, the head of the mace is made out of Narsil, and then the, the shaft upon which the head of Narsil rests is made of wood from the Malon trees from Lothlorien. There we go. Our prized possessions. And Sauron, of course, is an expert smith himself, so he had no trouble putting that together himself. Don't let them run. Don't let them run. Don't let them hide. Don't let those peasants stop you. Why aren't they dropping like crazy? Come on. Well, Sauron actually lost one guy in his regiment. <laughs> oh, this is just fun. This is a lot of fun. Wrath of Sauron, they'll break straight away. Look at that! They just went from, like, steady to broken in a flip second. Like a flip of the switch. Oh, they are dropping so fast. Very nice. Very nice, my friends. Very nice. 
And they don't have a general. Oh, it's gonna be a, a bit of a part of my French clusterfuck in the middle of the town square, eh? That's alright. Hello there, Thorn Riders. If I got a thorn in your side. Nice. I think we'll exterminate the populace here and then just keep Sauron moving towards Karasan, towards the Sea of Rune. We just want to finish off the winning. We'll kill all the good factions. And like I've said many times before, Isengard will be the main enemy, the boss battle. Boss battle. I want to say boss fight and boss battle at the same time. Man, I need more sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep enough last night. I will fully admit that. I was playing Dead by Daylight with friends, which is a very fun game. Um, and we stay up until like 2 a.m., which is... And I wake up at like 7.30. That's not working. Yeah, not a great time. Not a great time. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Thorn Guards dropping. I thought that Pikes would do a bit of damage against my trolls, but that seems to be rather okay. So I do want to get two uses for Wrath of Sauron. There we go. The most elite of the Black Numenorians have joined Sauron. This personal retinue, very nice. Not that he needs it, but it just gives him that bit more oomph. Of course they're also relentless, so they can't get staggered or stunned. They just keep fighting. Keep swinging, keep killing. I think every strike is basically a kill. Especially when he gets the gold chevron, because he has 23 attack. That's really high, especially because it's armor piercing as well. Sauron don't care. Sauron could be the Regeon Smiths, like, that's how strong he is. If we go to war against the Goblins of Moria, Sauron could, like, single handedly take on that entire faction, I think. I seriously think so. Got some Westron defenders as well. I quite like those defenders, one of my favorites. Oh, but they're just getting slaughtered! Absolutely getting slaughtered. Sauron, take care of the Thorn Riders. I kind of want to see you solo in action. I don't think you get a bonus against cavalry, but I, I thought I read that for version 5. No, you are skilled against mounts. Okay. I thought they were going to change him into, like, a technically a light spear unit, so he's even better against cavalry. Yeah, just, just enjoy Sauron going ham on some horses. Where's Sauron himself? I think he's still... Oh, there he is. There he is, the Dark Lord. My god, that is a beautiful model. That is a really beautiful model. Yes, keep smashing him. Like I said, man, every hit's basically a kill. Let's just enjoy this. Oh, look at them drop so fast. Oh, it's so sad. Skill against mounts and armor piercing and 23 attack. They just don't stand a chance. I'd be surprised if they killed one of the Black Numenorians here. That guy's getting a couple of hits in, but he doesn't care. Smack. Okay, some of these guys are a bit tanky. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Just pushing. It's a very one sided battle. Uh oh, poor Darwinian. Let's see, Sauron died? <laughs> Imagine that, Captain Valamar. So Sauron basically just was the one guy. I'm very happy to also have given him the, the weapon upgrade. It does add up. It really, really does. Alright, and there we go. That was very easy. Sauron the Dark Lord himself. I hope that title never gets overridden. Killed 573 and he lost one. He has a kill-death ratio of 573. Even the trolls don't even compare to how much... And also, I keep getting surprised that the trolls always get more kills than the Olokai for some reason. Not quite sure why that is. Anyway, uh, I'll see you back on the campaign map because we're going to finish up today's episode. There we go, Dorthalo has fallen. It's not quite Dantalad, which I very much wanted, but it's something. I think I can just send Sauron on like a lone crusade. Actually, it might not be necessary. Let's just talk to the fuck of war, just see what's going on. Yeah. Annoyingly, Dol Guldur took Viltur, which I don't think they held before. I don't think I really need to get involved. I think Darwinian is kind of falling apart on its own. Um, so I think what we'll do next episode is get the men moving towards the other name. I think that's going to be our next priority. Can I call an invasion against uh, already? 
I cannot. Hopefully I can call an invasion on Umbar. Oh, it's so undefended. Um, they lost a couple of Merlon to Harad. Uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, I, I don't understand why they attacked me, because they were at war with Harad. And they're getting their teeth kicked in by Harad. Oh well, I'll never say no to killing some Numenorians, black or not. Um, so I think what we'll do next episode is focus on killing those black Numenorians. Oh look, the Dwarves of Casa Doom are actually besieging Dunyard. That's quite nice, let them let them settle there, that's good. But there's a lot of red on the map, so we hold Bree, we hold Enlarges, we hold everything of Lothlorien and even Erui. We hold everything of Mordor, everything of Gondor. I don't see where Isengard can expand towards without either declaring war on me or Dunland, and I hope it will be Dunland, seeing as they're no longer allies, which is... Oh, they're allies again. I thought they broke their alliance because of the war with Angmar. Uh, well, I hope Angmar and Dunland go to war. So, we'll see what, what Isengard does. What hand they play. I'm a little bit scared of all this. Goodness gracious. Uh, but I will prepare my armies, and what I also want to do relatively quickly after we take care of the other name is take care of the Guldur. It's going to be very annoying to take care of the Guldur, but I kind of just want to do it for lore reasons. I just want all the... The Nazgul. So we'll do that. We'll also keep this army moving Lagaran towards Eminifun and Thranduil's Halls. I know I held them before, but that was cheaty. We don't want to do that. So we do want to take it legit. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I sure did. It was a bit of an unexpected episode. Everything that happened was kind of random. Um, and I'm very glad we saw Sauron in action. So with that said, I hope to catch you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.